Mavericks and Sideways Gang, or will it be Vitaly Isia for the IRC Oli Bet Racing Team? We're about to find out. All super battle here. Run number one. Big initiation from Pablo oh. Gunnan. But Vitaly right there is going to actually drop back just a little bit. We're going to see him cut a little bit of angle, get right back to the door. But Pablo Gunnan putting on a show right now in this lead position. Nice big angle from the V8 powered Supra in the lead. But Vitaly SCF trying to put as much pressure on in the chase, trying to force a mistake for that lead driver. Not so. Great run from both of them. But Joe, I, think out. I guess, you know, we're seeing it right now. Um, wasn't the only one to make that change as well as you have Pavel Gunn and the Cabal's kind of in his court. He's going to need to put the pressure on in the chase here as we send him for run number two. As Vitaly Isayev in front of Pavel Gunn and throwing it in both drivers. A lot of commitment, a lot of angle. Again, Pavel Gunn doing the same kind of move that Vitaly did is really taking out the angle. But oh my gosh. Pavel Gunnan in the chase. Vitaly throwing down an amazing lead. But Pavel Gunnan really taking full advantage of what you can do with that and just pushing that other Mark IV Super. Yep, as we are getting ready to go here, and they are off for run number one. All right, Pavel in the lead. Vitaly giving chase. Again, all Super battle. A little bit shallow there from Vitaly. So you have not the best line. And it's going to hurt him when you're going up against your number one qualifier. Nice and smooth on outers. And number four, all the angle from that SMP Racing Supra. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But all the pressure in chase from Vitale so you have trying to force some kind of mistake from Pavel Gunn. And he's got to put it right on the door. And he does a little love tap going across the line. Threw it all oh, at the to go. So here we go. And they are off. Vitaly is I have in the lead, Pavel Gunnan in the chase, throwing it on and right on the door. Pavel Gunnan saying, okay, you think it's an OMT? I'll show you why I don't think you need to do another one. As Vitaly is I have throwing everything he can into this lead, doing the best job he can, trying to get away from Pavel Gunnan, but Pavel matching, pushing Vitaly through the final outside zone and across the line. I thought, oh, I hate to spoil that, but. That's fine, cool. Are you just, ready? Just Okay. One. Two. And. Uh-oh. Pavel Gunnan on split decision. Moving on. Look at that. Get him on out of here. Yeah, I think. I think. Trying to get himself into the dance, but he's got to take out Cameron Mustard to do it. And let's see here, Cameron Mustard in the lead, Ethan Minima in the chase, looking very, very good. Cameron Mustard unfazed by that giant pink machine behind him, putting it right up on that door, man. Cameron Mustard, though, again, putting in a masterclass of a lead run. Ethan Minima, no chill, though, taking full advantage of that great lead to really show off what he's doing. And here we go. Again, across the line. What a run from both drivers. That's, Again. that's re really grasping for straws there. Oh my gosh, yeah, no. Really, you cannot get closer. And here we go, we are off. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Ethan Minima in the lead position. Cameron giving him a little bit of room, but sucking up to the door of the GT86 Supra. Maybe dropping back there a little bit, not getting the best transition from Cameron. Is this the opening that Ethan needed? Just gonna continue running his line, do what he can. A little bit of left foot break there for Minima, but right there on the door is Cameron Mustard. Again, qualified up to the top for a reason, got his buy run for a reason. Will that minor mistake in inner clip number one be the Been opening? Barely making mistakes today, just little things. Same thing from Cameron, just little things. Here we go, one more time battle. Winner will be in the final. As Cameron Mustard up against Ethan Minima. No chill on the initiation. Cameron Mustard nice and crisp as Ethan Minima tucking it right up in on the door. And again, right next to that door as Whoa. well. Through the transition, staying oh. out of everyone's way. No contact so far. Ethan Minima right on Cameron Mustard's door. I don't know how they can get much better at this point. And again, Flipping on over into this final outside zone and across the line, both drivers are in it for blood. Implications, this thing ain't over. And wait for it. There we go. The engines are revving, the lights are on, and they are off. 
Cameron Mustard in the chase position. Ethan Minima in the lead. Ethan's trying to get to the final to fight for a championship. Here they go, ladies and gentlemen, up on the bank here in outer zone number one at Irwindale Speedway. Nice job from both Cameron right on the bumper, but Ethan says, I can flick hard too, bro. Whoa. Big angle from Ethan Minima, and he holds it. Cameron Mustard not face at all. Right on the door of Ethan Minima. He is trying to keep his championship hope alive. Maybe lacking a little bit of angle there. Is the super tapping the wall? Ethan Minima has gone to war today, but will that be Ladies enough? Ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner. We do, so we're going to slide him left for Cameron Mustard, right for Ethan Minima. Remember, championship implications here one two and three that means ethan minimum moving on to our final four let's take a look at how this place in points 154 he's not out of it but that moving on to the final four definitely helps him but ernesto siakabellis also trying to keep his championship hopes alive against daniela's parangoskis S13 in the lead from Lithuania. Ernesto Siakoupelis, big angle from Ernestus, but right on the door is Daniela Pangoskis. This is a top 16 battle, ladies and gentlemen. Not all the angle that Ernestus was looking for. You see a little bit of left foot break. They're trying to throw a little bit more angle in the car. And there is the bigger angle. Get that car nice and slowed down, but right on the door is the IRT Oli Bet BMW on the team. Urta S13 coming off the wall a little bit was Ernestus Siakoupelis. Such a great start to the run. Locations in every battle that he does. Let's see what they have. And we are off. Danielis Paragoskis in the lead. Ernestus in the chase. No chill. Taking a little bit of a caution, trying to catch on up to that BMW through the transition. Let's see what he has. Cutting a little bit of angle, catching right on up to that BMW's door. Going great again. Having to cut angle, but Danielis unfazed again. But running just a beautiful lead run. Do they keep it out of the wall? It seems like yes, both of them will. As we're going through and across esports s13 nice and stanced caked up and he's got daniela parangoskis in the chase it is an all lithuania battle vanessa jacobellis in the lead position nice and job but we're going to see daniela's get aggressive again he's going to be able to keep that angle though that went a little bit shallow in the first part of the course but he's right there and big angle now from that bmw shadowing Ernestus Jacobellis in the S13 in a lead position. Nice job on the wall from Ernestus this time. Not going shallow, maybe a little bit of a book, but he's going to keep it going. And right there. We're here in the Revan, and I think they are getting ready to go here. And we are off. As here we go, Danielis in the lead, Ernesto Sucabellis in the chase, trying to catch on up. But Danielis and that BMW look super confident on this run. But there we go, Ernesto keeping on up. But I think Danielis just is looking so consistent, so smooth in that lead. And Ernesto is just trying to hang on a little bit of a wobble from Danielis. But Ernesto again keeping it right on the door, unfazed. I know if the green part of the course is in the zone. We do have a call, in fact. Let's let him left for Nessus, right for Danielis, in the middle for an OMT. I think uh, Brady threw a rocket. He was some paper attached to it, Keenan. Did he? Yeah, he did. <laughs> yeah, Dan Alberhall having the better lead. <laughs> my man whipped my man whipped out his whole Norwegian hammer and like it's not even close but ladies and gentlemen here we go championship implications this could be your overall winner and here we go Austin Zalewski in the lead Pavel Gunn in the chase currently first and second in points and they are first and second out on the track as well right now going on through Austin Zalewski A to Z in the lead looking very good Pavel Gunn in no chill in the chase tucking right on and he knows how close this is gonna need to be Coming on through that final inside clip, through the transition. So far, no drama, just perfect driving as we get across the line. Jeez, guys. On up. Let's see. I, I'm just speechless already, and they are off. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Austin season, Pavel season on the line here. Who's getting the win? Who's getting the championship? 
Pablo may be in the wall there just a little bit, but keeps the foot on the floor. Austin's going to have to stay on that door and not let him get anywhere. But Pablo's been so fast in the lead position all season. Great job on the wall. Pa Austin may be going a little bit shallow, oh. but he needed to do that. A little love tap between competitors. All's fair in love and war here in ESDA as we push into the last corner. Austin, oh, Pablo's got the wall. Pablo clipped the wall. Creation, car modeling, tuning, practice, teamwork. Everything is down to these next two runs. Austin Zalewski, Pablo Gunn, and only one can move on into the final. And here we go. Austin Zalewski in the lead. Pablo Gunn in the chase. And so far, no contact. Pablo Gunn cutting a little bit of angle to keep up with Austin Zalewski. So far, so good from our lead driver. Just doing exactly what he needs to be doing as Pablo Gunn. And again, diving on in and breaking right there. If this was real life, they would have just gone wheel to wheel. We've had a big issue, but luckily we are not there. And let's see through the outside zone again. Pavel Gunnan putting that wheel right on the door saying, maybe you tapped me, maybe you didn't last run, but I'm definitely yep. going to be. Oh, we have turned it around now. Pavel Gunnan. So if you say he's weaker in the chase, let's see what happens now when he's leading. And they are off. Pavel Gunnan lead Austin Zaluski in the chase. Austin burning him all the way, maybe going a little bit shallow in the bank there, but he's going to use a left foot break and move it up the racetrack. Pavel up into the wall, rushing the rear bumper of the SP Racing oh. Esports machine. Again, out of zone number one, out of zone number two. Again, Austin a little bit shallow. Going to use that left foot brake to pull the car out to the outer zone. Right there, so still on the door of Pavel Gunner. This is where we saw it all fall apart for both of them last time. Are we getting a run? I believe we do. Austin Zalewski and Pavel maybe grabbing a little bit of the wall. Some championship implications. Are you ready, Keenan? I am. So, ladies and gentlemen, slide him. I'm going to let you have this, Joe, but slide him left for Austin Zalewski, slide him right for Pavel Gunnan. This could be for a brand new rig and men some. Okay, I'll give you, I gave you one. You can do the rest on this. Star yelling, man. You ready? That one for Austin Zalewski, two for Austin Zalewski. Austin Zalewski is going to make it into the final and take out his best competition of Pavel Gunnan. Pavel is not done in the season. He still has a chance at getting P2, but Austin Zalewski has done everything he's needed to do to this point. Number one qualifier has taken out some of the heaviest hits. Martina Sostreka up against Danielas Paris. Oh, Perengauskas. Man, that what name always throws me for a loop. And here we are off BMW on BMW action. And here we go. Big angle, looking oh. great right in on his door, but Ostreka not afraid to just stick his elbows out and keep on going. Oh, was that? Ooh. That was contact, but that was also in a decel zone. We'll see what happens. I don't know as we're going on through, through the final transition, keeping it on the track and across the line. Danny Ellis, sorry, my fault, uh, versus Martinez. As we get ready for run number two, both beautiful BMWs. Let's see what they have to throw down here for their run number two. Lights are off. They're down the straight. Great initiation. This BMW, both these BMWs are just on each other's doors as they're flying through that inner clip. Heading into the outer zone number three with the decel zone. Flying, looking very solid from both parties. No contact whatsoever from the chase though. Heading into that last outer zone, both these BMWs looking very solid. And we are off. Here we go. Martinez Ostreka leading Daniela's pair. Uh, Daniela's. Uh -huh. <laughs> so we're going on in here. Okay, let's see if they make the same mistake twice. So far, Martinez just throwing in as much as he can, as much angle as he knows how to. And there we go, Danielle's in the chase, being a lot more careful through that zone on the track, really trying to not do anything wrong and trying to catch up to Martinez, who's just throwing down an excellent lead run. And he goes in across the engines, line. man. Let's see what just waiting got. on the lights. Lights are down, drivers are out the gate, through the chicane, already burning out through their tires before outer zone one, and they're off, man. These guys are right on each other. Martinez definitely looking to make sure the judges know who's really winning this battle, but you gotta make it through Daniela's first as he prepares the last half of this track, staying as deep as possible throughout all these zones, entering into the last zone, riding that line. Get to this point. 
Martina yeah, Sostreka will be leading Danielis, and let's see what they got for run number two. Both drivers are going to be hungry now. I would not be surprised if we see a major mistake on these runs. And here we go, Danielis right in on them. There we go, matching angle. I don't know how he can get much closer through the transition. Going to be aggressive, going to have to be aggressive as Martinez Ostreka doing exactly what he's done every run so far. His lead is dialed in as he goes on through, but Danielle is not going to give him an inch or a mile as we're getting on the door and across. As Danielle in my opinion, might have the upper hand, especially after that chase. Lights are down, heading through the chicane. Engines roaring at BMW versus BMW. Great initiation from Danielis from IRT, looking solid, but Martinez right on his door, millimeters away as they transition through. Look at that angle heading into the decel zone, flying by that touch and go. These guys definitely wanting to show the judges who's the real winner here, and Danielis is not making it easy for Martinez whatsoever, heading into the last outer zone. So slide him left for Ostreka, right for Darius, uh, Danielis Paragauskas, and I'm going on in here. One, two, and three. Martinez Ostreka will be moving on, and that will round out our top 30.